Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dungeon 3D Showcase. I know it's been a little bit, but I have a very exciting feature that I want to show you guys. Uh, so before, uh, with the multiplayer maps, if your group was, say, going to a different area of a map, or you had a, an area that was really, really big, but it was just not feasible to put it all in one map. I'm very familiar with that. So there is a feature that I want to show you guys today. And we are going to start by taking you to maps that I just made called Map Center. All right, so you start a multiplayer map as normal, right? And I didn't do anything too crazy. This is just a little center of a town, some town folk surrounding a little fountain. I like fountains. So now, so you're going to see there that my laptop has joined in there now. So you do your thing on this map. Uh, and say the group wants to take it to the east, okay? So if you go down here to the right-hand side, right-hand corner, where it has this load button right by the sheets, there's a little drop down here. So you click the next one you want to go to. So if you want to go to map east, you just click that in the drop down and then click load. What it will do is it will take your party, your players, your group, uh, and put them in a loading screen and they will be taken into the next map once everybody loads in there you go the new you are on the new map and you can do that to like i said my my use for it is i like building these huge maps unfortunately my players don't necessarily like these huge maps um and they're really unwieldy uh if there's tons of fog of war uh, it can cause issues with moving around, stuff like that. So that's what this feature was designed to uh, combat. So you got a little street here with some buildings, some houses, homes, uh, some trees in between them. Real simple. Uh, this doesn't need to be all crazy. Well, they go ahead and go to the west now. So you just select the drop down, click load. It'll drop your player out. And then it will basically start loading it. Takes you to the load screen like you see there. And now we find ourselves in this little farming town. Or not a little farming town, but the little farming area uh, on the western end of the village. There's some farmers there. They're tending these cabbages. We'll call them cabbages. I don't know. <laughs> tending these little cabbages. And you'll see there that the laptop uh, has joined with me. Um, it uh, It's very seamless. Uh, we've had it with groups of five where we just kind of pop out, pop into a new map. It's super helpful. It has made it so that when you have these big maps, you don't have to either shrink it down and then be like, okay, let me load up the next map. And then you load up the next map and be like, okay, everybody come back in. This makes that whole transition process seamless, smooth. It's easy. Players don't even have to do anything. They just sit back and relax and wait. And once the new map is loaded, they just place their avatars and uh, you're off to the races. So uh, we have some more features. We're hard at work uh, on new features coming out. Uh, we are hard at work on the new free DLC packs that are coming out very soon. Uh, and expect more of these videos and a new series starting very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, keep building.